Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we're gonna do a makeup tutorial like you guys saw. So first, my face is bare, obviously my brows are done. So first, we're gonna prime the eyes. I'm using my NYX Can Stop One Stop Concealer. I'm just putting all over the lid and I'm just uh, blending it out with a big eyeshadow brush, basically. Uh, just to spread it out evenly. And next, I'm gonna set it with my Laura Mercier Translucent setting powder just on top just to set the concealer because this concealer is actually a little bit sticky so first i'm going to use my amrezy palette and i'm going to use the shade new yorker you guys know i love this shade for the crease so we're just going to blend it in the crease it's just like a really nice transition color you guys can barely see it on camera but i just love 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 starting my makeup looks with this because after that everything that i use just blends so easily so you just want to blend, blend, blend a little bit in the inner corner to the outer corner on both eyes, obviously. So next for the main event, I'm using my Alyssa Edwards palette from Anastasia. I'm going to use the shade Unicorn Tribe and I'm going to use my big blending brush, the same blending brush that I use for the trans transition color. So I'm just going to put it all over the crease again so you're gonna see like it's really easy to blend right now uh, thanks to the transition shade that we put before so just take your time build it up you guys know me I always take my time to blending it up and uh, yeah just blend the crease so obviously you want to do the same thing to the other eye it doesn't have to be super perfect because as you guys can see we're gonna build up the, uh, the shades to make it like a really dark purple in the end Next, I took the shade BBDC and I'm using a smaller blending brush. This one is from Real Techniques just to like really dip in the crease. So what you're going to do is going to take some of the shade and really dip it into your crease and blend it at, uh, at the same time. Uh, basically just on top of the first shade that we used. And I always uh, just go back and forth between my big blending brush and the small one just to make sure everything is well blended in the outer corners. Just so, <clears throat> sorry, just so that nothing it looks harsh. So you just want to blend, blend, blend. Like I said, I go back and forth between the small blending brush and the big one. Just take your time. Um, honestly, the purples in this palette are really, really easy to work with, which is really refreshing because purple can be kind of tricky. It always looks kind of patchy, so this one looks really good. Next, I went ahead and cut my crease. This is about a three-quarter cut of crease. And then I went to the shade headliner and I took an angle brush, like a liner brush. And I'm just going to start doing just a line like wherever on the top where we cut our crease just so you know the shade is a bit like chalky it's a bit powdery also so you just have to take your time to build up the white but eventually like you'll get a really nice white shade on your lid so just take your time blend it and just remove whatever like excess that comes out of the brush Next for the lid shade, I chose the shade DDG and I'm just using like a packing brush, like a smudger brush uh, to pack it on the lid. So this shade is so beautiful you guys, it has kind of like a blue undertone but whatever. It's really really nice so I'm just going to put it all over the lid, take your time. You can always switch between your the brush and uh, your fingers, I thought like it worked well either or like it's really nice and trying to blend it also in the outer corner a little bit but we're going to blend it even more um, later on so it doesn't matter so you just want to do the same thing to the other eyes obviously and yeah just using the same brush just packing it on um, it's really really beautiful it has a bit of shimmer in it but it really packs it on really really nicely So just be careful when you go like on top where the white line is uh, try not to like remove it totally just just take your time so next I just took an angle brush and I just wanted to like make the the line more straight because the white was going a bit everywhere so I just took an angle, angle brush just to clean it up a little bit you guys will see like it just looks more clean basically just like that so next I use the shade believe and the shade beast with a more of a dense blending brush I'm just gonna smoke out the outer corner because I thought it was lacking a bit of dimension on the makeup look 
yeah so first i use the shade believe on both eyes and then i'm just gonna make it um darker with the shade beast as you can see uh, just to make it more deep more have more dimension to the makeup look and yeah so then after that you just take your small blending brush and just gonna blend the outer corner just so there's no harsh line because black can be pretty like intense sometimes so just make sure you blend it after so that there's no harsh line and just take your time yeah after that i use a bit of mascara this is the Too faced better than sex mascara in black obviously and i'm just putting a little bit of mascara because i'm gonna put false lashes anyways after and i use my kiss number 11 as usual this is them and now i'm just gonna do my face so i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the process To the eyes i went back to the shade bbdc with a smudger brush we're just going to smoke out the lower lash line with it so this shade i put all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner to smoke it out and uh, yeah and trying to connect the upper lid with the lower lid and then after i took the shade believe and a little bit of Based also just to smoke out the outer corner again and obviously you want to connect the, the lid shade with your uh, lower lash line so next I went back into the shade B DDG just to like brighten up a bit of the inner corner so that's why I put this one in the inner corner it's like it's just like a reminder of the lid shade I thought so I thought it was nice and then I just took a small blending brush just to smoke it out a bit more just so everything is all blended together and everything looks seamless now I'm just removing my bake 
with a small brush from Real Techniques. Next, I went ahead and took my Master Chrome highlight from Maybelline in Molten Gold. So I'm just going to highlight my nose and also my cheeks. Um, this time I'm only using one highlight. You guys know I love to mix them, but I thought this one was enough. Also, the eyes are so intense that I thought the highlight should be just, just, just enough. And for my lips, I'm using my Silver Brown eyeliner to line my lips. Um, yeah, you guys know I love this eyeliner to line my lips like always next i'm using the kvd beauty uh, liquid lipstick in bow and arrow and after i'm taking my vivid hot lacquer in unreal by maybelline i don't know if it still exists honestly i just it was there i wanted to use it because i really wanted something really really nude for the lips because like i said before the eyes are so intense that i thought that it would just go well together so after that I'm just gonna use some setting spray I'm using my Urban Decay this like setting spray if I didn't mention the product it's down below in the description box you guys know as always everything is mentioned down below so next I'm just gonna do my hair just gonna brush it make it cute and this is basically it you guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video this purple makeup moment and I'll see you in my next one guys bye <laughs>